Hey, if you're looking to calculate the internal rate of return, the IRR for a potential small business acquisition, then I want to show you our free IRR calculator template here, show you how to fill it out and how you'd be able to calculate uh, your potential uh, internal rate of return. Uh, before I get too far into that, my name is Adam Huxima. I'm the co-founder of Projection Hub. And over the last decade, we've helped over 50,000 entrepreneurs create financial projections for uh, all sorts of uh, different industries, different types of businesses for potential investors and lenders. Um, and today we're specifically focused on helping you calculate your projected internal rate of return for a potential uh, small business acquisition. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and dive into this template. So I have our free IRR calculator pulled up here and we're in the input assumptions tab. And what we're gonna start with is uh, we're gonna say how much will be invested into the startup or into this new acquisition. So this actually could be your acquisition price. So let's say we're gonna acquire uh, this business for $1.1 million. And then um, it's gonna ask us, what are your projected cash flows for each of the next five years? And we're gonna need to create a set of cash flow projections. If you don't already have cash flow projections for your acquisition. Um, I'm gonna quickly jump over and show you our acquisition uh, financial projection template here, uh, and then show you where to be able to uh, grab some cash flow projections. So uh, I'm gonna briefly run through this. We'll put a link in the description of the video below um, to this acquisition template so that you can go grab that if you don't already have a set of cash flow projections. Um, but I'll briefly run through this. There's a more detailed video demo of this um, at the link in the description below. But what this tool allows you to do is enter in um, some acquisition details. So we're saying, hey, we're going to enter in, or we're going to uh, acquire this company for 1.1 million using a million fifty thousand worth of debt, fifty thousand worth of equity, and we've got some starting balance sheet uh, items here. We're going to have a seller's note um, and then and a loan, uh, maybe an SBA loan here. And we're going to have an initial investment into the business as well. Um, it allows us to enter in our initial fixed assets and then also future uh, equipment that we expect to purchase or fixed assets we expect to purchase in the future. It also helps us calculate our goodwill um, that's associated with the acquisition, which will be important. Um, and it automatically uh, inputs that goodwill calculation onto the projected balance sheet. Um, it also allows us to input uh, some revenue projections. So um, again, I'm gonna breeze through this, but basically what this will allow you to do is enter in up to five years of historical financials and then uh, determine how you want to uh, predict future revenue. So you can do things like annualize the current year revenue. You can take an average of previous year's revenue. Uh, you could just do a manual entry, say, you know, I, I know this particular revenue line item is going to be 100,000 this year. I just want to manually enter that in. And then what you can do from there is um, say, hey, we're going to we're going to increase or decrease these different revenue line items as, as seen here. And so uh, based on those increases or decreases, you'll be able to have your projected revenue out for, for five years. And then you get to do a similar exercise with expenses. And I'll show you um, again, just real briefly here, you can enter in some prior year historical expenses. Again, select how you want to kind of project forward, what you want to use as your base to, to project going forward. And then in this example, we're saying, actually, we're going to, um, we're going to decrease some of these expenses with the acquisition. We think we're going to run more uh, efficiently or, or something like that. And so we're going to find ways to decrease expenses and uh, become more profitable. We can also set our expenses uh, either as a percentage of revenue or as a percent increase or decrease from the base, um, the previous historical financials. And once we enter in all those assumptions, we'll be able to get a set of five-year projections. Now, getting to finally getting to the point of, hey, now we want to calculate our IRR, um, we're going to uh, come back to our cash flow summary here. And... Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look to our cash flow summary tab here. And the cash flow summary tab is going to give you your uh, net cash uh, inflow or outflow for the year. And this is the number that we need to be able to enter into our um, into the IRR calculator. So I'm going to copy those numbers and come back over to our IRR calculator. I'm just going to uh, paste these off to the side so that we have them. And then what we're going to do, I'm just going to grab them like this, get those cash flows entered in. All right, so now we have our, our projected cash flows entered in for the new acquisition, and um, we can also enter in um, some future growth rate assumptions. So let's say um, we think this business is in an industry that's growing at 5% a year, so we're gonna change that to 5% a year. And then we have a discount rate, and the discount rate um, it's something that you're going to just have to uh, make an assumption on. But one way to think about 
what this should be is what is the minimum annual return uh, that that you think investors in your business uh, would expect um, and so if we if we say you know this is a small business it's a stable business maybe we're just expecting a you know 10 percent return not a not a extremely high risk high reward um, type of business so we're going to set a discount rate to 10 percent and now we can come here to see our uh, internal rate of return so we'll see the annual cash flows the, the purchase price of the 1.1 million so that's an outflow and then we'll see our uh our, our five-year um uh, cash flow projections and ultimately this allows us to calculate our internal rate of return now one thing that um, we need to to mention here is that uh, in this example we were assuming that um, that we're actually only investing a hundred thousand dollars worth of equity in this uh, startup because we're going to borrow um, we're going to borrow the rest of the money and so if we're really only using a hundred thousand worth of equity investment um, and using the rest with, with leverage or debt um, it's really going to make a huge difference you can see how the the debt the leverage can really make a, a big difference in our internal rate of return since we only put in a hundred thousand now we see 114 percent internal rate of return so um, i'm going to put in our uh, acquisition template um, uh, folder if you were to buy our acquisition template which again we've linked to down in the description of the video below i'm going to include this irr calculator in that folder um, with you so that you'll be able to uh, you know calculate your uh, potential cash flows and then use this calculator to uh, project your IRR so if you have any questions about that please leave a comment in the video section uh, comment section of the video below or reach out to us directly at support at projectionhub.com and we'd be happy to try to help thanks